this time on the American Garage. Steve paints the David Bradley and demonstrates how to use a paint gun. All of this coming up on the American Garage. Welcome back to the American Garage. Today we are going to be painting the tractor. So I got a little bit of a head start. As you can see, we've, uh, we've covered everything in the garage. So we don't get paint on everything. We've moved stuff out that we don't need in here uh, that we can move. And we've set up a table with all of our parts, which we've got primed and ready to go. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe everything with isopropyl alcohol so that it's clean and dust free. And then we'll be ready to paint. Now. When we paint, we have to remember to keep everything as clean as we can. First, we cleaned the garage and covered everything. Second, we clean all of our parts. Third, we're going to set up the machine and make sure that we keep the paint gun as clean as possible. I will show you a little bit about the paint gun and how to operate it when we're actually ready to paint. Now you'll notice I'm not wearing clothes that I need uh, to be uh, painting in. So I'm going to change my clothes and we'll get ready to paint. Alright, now I've uh, got my paint clothes on. Uh, a couple of safety pieces of equipment that we're going to be using. Uh, we're going to definitely use a respirator. I don't want that junk in my, my lungs. Uh, also, I'll be wearing an old pair of glasses, so I can see real well, but I don't want to paint my new glasses, so we'll use the old ones. Now, our paint was custom mixed by Tasco uh, Paint Supply in Deer Park, Texas, and they did a fantastic job at matching our color to the tractor. Now, what they did is they mixed me up a paint that I don't need to mix with anything it's ready to go I can just put it in the the paint gun and I'm ready to shoot they made it a little simple for me because this is really my first time using uh, a device like this This is a paint gun this is a, uh, a low pressure high volume paint gun so for a little bit of air it puts out a lot of paint so you don't have a lot of paint particles floating around in the air now since I'm a little new with this I had my buddy Dan who loaned me the gun uh, set it for me. I can set it right here for the for the kind of spray that we want to have. So uh, basically all we need to do literally is just put the paint in the can on the spray gun and start painting. Now we'll make sure we wear the respirator and uh, we're working in a well ventilated garage. Now you see that I uh, earlier in the to show that I suspended a lot of the parts, the handlebars and those sorts of things, with, uh, with string, get everything hanging, because that way I can paint all of the so sides of the part without uh, having to, to move the part. All right, So that way I can paint it in all one shot. Now, I'm going to filter the paint because there's always a little dirt or crud that might get into the paint, and we don't want that in the paint gun, so we're going to use some paint filters as we're putting the paint into the gun to make sure our paint is clean so we don't clog the spray gun. Okay, ready? Let's get some painting done. Okay, for those of you who have never used a, a paint gun and an air compressor before, let me just take a minute to demystify it and show you the equipment involved. First, we have a compressor. Now you don't have to have one as large as this, you just have to have one that can produce enough air to make the, the paint sprayer spray. Second, you need an air hose. An air hose will give you significant enough length to go from the compressor to the work that you're working on. The bigger the work, the longer the hose you're going to want. Then two other things. You're going to need a paint gun and you're going to need a regulator. This is a high volume, low pressure gun, HVLP gun. They're very common these days. Now, uh, you have some settings on the gun. So, let me help you understand this. First, we have the setting, the top knob, adjust the fan of the spray coming out of the spray gun. The second knob controls the volume of paint that goes through the gun. 
Now, of course, this gun has the can on top, so it's gravity feed. Uh, these are very common these days. This particular one also has a regulator built onto it. You, you need to have a regulator when you're spray painting because this regulates the pressure of air that is going through the gun itself. The more even the pressure you have going through, the nicer your paint job is going to be. If you haven't done it before, then you want to give yourself some time and maybe uh, use a piece of cardboard or a box to practice on first, okay, before you go to the piece that you're actually painting. So we've got our gun, uh, we've got a compressor, we've got a hose, and we've got a regulator. So if you're looking to, to try this kind of uh, painting, this is the equipment that you need. Got my filter in there. All right. See what we can do here. Now, since I don't know how much paint I'm going to need, I'm going to go little bits at a time so we don't waste any of this paint. There's no need to put the whole can in there if we don't need the whole can. All right, I'm going to put my respirator on. We're ready to paint. Take a look at our parts before painting, and now they look like this. There was a few miscellaneous parts that uh, didn't get painted, so I'm going to paint those real quick with spray paint and with a brush. I've got a couple of parts here that we missed, so I'm not going to drag out the uh, paint gun and the compressor again just for these few little parts, especially since they're nuts and bolts. So um, we just paint them with a brush real, real easily. As soon as we're finished painting them, I'll set them in the sun and they will be ready in no time to use. Next time on the American Garage, Steve reassembles the David Bradley Garden Tractor and gets ready to finalize the project. All this coming up next time on the American Garage.